what's going on YouTube gang? It's Metal Deer Fest coming to you live and direct. Here to give you my plays, my first look into NFL Week 16. Hope everybody's having a great week. Feel free to like the video. Please subscribe if you're new or support the channel. I appreciate the love. Press that bell icon so you always stay notified for new videos. Let's jump into it, y'all. Now, going to the quarterback slot for the main slate. All right, definitely want to take a look at some savings. So, I'm going to go down. I definitely like uh, Dwayne Haskins here. All right, he's 7,000 on FanDuel. We're looking at a great price on DraftKings at 5,300. All right, great spot going against Giants. One of the worst teams to definitely go against uh, opposing quarterbacks. So they're 26 against that spot, but nonetheless. He's in a great play. He had 19 last game, and it definitely showed life for the Skins, you know, even though he was playing against Miami. But going against the Giants is definitely a great team to target, especially playing at home as well. So got an edge in that as well. So love the, I just love the uh, correlation with uh, McLaurin, even with a nice, save, uh, a nice sleeper play that I'll let you know about in the video. But Dwayne Haskins is in a great spot to definitely give you that upside here with this pie tech, especially on DraftKings at 5,300. All right, let's look into our running backs. All right, now going to the running backs. All right, you definitely want to look in the other side of the game. Could go to Saquon Barkley back at it, you know. Now he's definitely showing life. He balled out against at Washington last season with over 170 yards and rushing. So this is a guy that could definitely give you upside once again. That 20 plus um, play here. He had 28 last game, but he's showing that he's showing his confidence back, and I, I'm glad to see him back in the back in the mode of knowing what he's about. So. Love Saquon Barkley here. All right, at, I'm playing at Washington, knowing the history as well. Now you can also go back down to Chris Carson. All right, knowing that Penny's out, he's definitely showing upside, y'all. 26 last game, he had 24 carries as well, getting that workload. So Chris Carson's in a smashing spot once again, going against Arizona, one of the worst teams against running backs. So definitely could target this play once again with Chris Carson. Another guy you could go for some savings is Joe Mixon. All right, going against Dolphins. We all know how Dolphins are. One of the worst teams against opposing running backs. He can give you upside here. He's been balling the last three games. He had a 17, 26, 15 in the last three. He even had that 17 in the past five games. So somebody can also target if you don't have enough money to get a Saquon Barkley, but you want to go with Chris Carson. It's a great mix to definitely target. But going for a saving spot let's go down this list you got patrick laird man 5500 is a cheap spot even on DraftKings. too cheap man you're looking at 46 i believe 4600 on DraftKings, and you know he getting the targets as well even on the pass attack going against cincinnati at 29 28th against opposing running backs and he's too cheap to know the upside he's just to get around 10.7 he's due for a touchdown man and he's been doing just as he didn't he didn't do well last game but he had 11-15 in the last three games. So somebody could definitely look into, um, you know. So Patrick Lair is in a great spot here. Now, also, I want to also target uh, even uh, the running backs. You know, you got Adrian Peterson. You know, he's getting the, he's getting the usage knowing that guys is out. So, you know, 16-20 in the past two games, 17-14 in the last two, 16 um the game before that so he's showing upside with his price tag he's still too cheap on DraftKings, you know so you're looking about what 40 i think uh let me just double check i think it's 5k yeah he's only 5k on DraftKings. so another great cheap spot for the redskins this is a nice great play for redskins uh stack against the giants here but definitely some good spots here but i just want to let you know what i like on the first look all right let's go to our receivers all right now Staying not correlating with correlating with uh, Dwayne Haskins. All right, you gotta look into Terry McLaurin, man. Terry McLaurin in the past two with Haskins, he had 22, 14. He got five and seven targets in the past two games. It's another great game to definitely target against Giants. One of the worst teams against opposing uh, receivers. 29th against opposing receivers and playing at home. It's a great spot to definitely target. And he's cheap, you know, 6,500, 62 on DraftKings. Sign me up here with Terry McLaurin with a great spot. All right, now going for uh, some other plays. 
Um, even with the red scans, I'm gonna go for another sleeper spot. And he's too cheap. So Steven Sims Jr. All right, 5,700. And we're looking at 4K on DraftKings. All right, he had 11 targets. He had seven the game before that, 13. So he had a touchdown in the red zone touchdown. So, you know, even the game before that, you know, if he had a touchdown, he's easy giving you uh, upside with his price. So another great play here against Giants. So it's a 42 implied total here. So Steven Sims, McLaurin's a great stack. I definitely love with uh, Dwayne Haskins. Those are his guys he's definitely loving. So going to those spots for the receiver. All right, now trying to find some more plays. Um, of course, you could go go DJ Moore. DJ Moore has been doing damage and he's been getting crazy usage on the targets, y'all. 12 targets, 6, 12. And, you know, so he he's still cheap, 6600. Um, you're looking at 69 on DraftKings, but more likely I love him on FanDuel at 6600. Just knowing the targets is there, definitely a great spot. Even with the Chargers against Oakland, uh, Keenan Allen's in a smash and play. He has great history against Oakland, so it's another good spot for him. 10 targets last game, 14, 11, 16, 17. He, he's a great producer, man. So. Another great play plan, plan Oakland here. So, just just seeing how Oakland crumbled last last week against Jaguars. This is another good spot here for the Chargers. Great history for uh, Philip Rivers as well. So you want to play like Philip Rivers with uh, Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, even Hunt, uh, Hunter Henry. Great spots here. So. There's another great stack with uh, Chargers here. So those are good spots for me. For those spots, even Cortland Sutton is another great play. All right, just knowing how um, Detroit got annihilated uh, last week. I mean, Sutton's in a great spot here. Even Phillip Lindsay's in a good spot here against Detroit. So, I mean, they're one of the worst teams as well going against the receivers. So Sutton could do damage at 7,100, but a great spot on DraftKings. Um, looking at 6,200 on DraftKings. So, Cortland Sutton is a good spot as well. Those are my plays I love him so far for the receiving core. Now, looking to the tight ends, like I stated, uh, Hunter Henry is in a good play. Uh, I like him in the spot. Oakland is 31st, one of the worst teams against opposing tight ends. You know, he's not even beginning the targets, but, you know, he's too cheap on DraftKings to ignore here. So, I think you're looking at 47, 4,700 on DraftKings. He could pay up that that price tag easy if he get a touchdown. So it's a back and forth with him. You know, he had 11, 12, 2, 11, 2. Hopefully a bounce back game here, knowing the upside against Oakland. All right, at 47 uh, implied total here. So they're plus six favor. Hunter Henry is due for a touchdown. So going that spot is a great play for me. All right, and you got Jacob Hollister on Seattle, 57 on FanDuel. They're not really budging on the prices, you know, but uh, DraftKings is definitely giving you a discount on DraftKings. So you're looking at what? Uh, I think we're looking at 30, 32? Uh, no, 4,200. Yeah, 4,200 on DraftKings with Jacob Hollister knowing Arizona's garbage against tight ends. They're, they're, they're last against tight ends. So he could be a great upside play. Uh, so something you can look into with Jacob Hollister from Seattle. All right, so those are my plays. Defense, I definitely like the Steelers here on defense going against the, uh, the Jets. They're only projecting around 39 implies, so they're looking, uh, looking small here. So definitely let like this play. They're 8.5 projection, but it could do damage. So even though they're playing away, it's a great play for Steelers to do work against Jets. They're not really doing much. They're one of the worst offense in the league. So definitely like Steelers to give upside as price tag on 49 and 39 on DraftKings. So those are my first look plays for Week 16. Like the plays, give a thumbs up. Any questions regarding the plays or even some other plays I wasn't talking about, comment below using Draft Dashboard Tools and the link in my description. All you have to do is click the link in the description to sign up if you want access to my player pool. All right, all you got to do is click the link. Go to the menu bar. You have access to the NFL cheat sheet to give you the best plays of the slate. You got the sleepers and your studs. Also, to watch players, to also check out your player pool, and you'll see my plays up top. Also, Draft Dashboard is 
bringing in the GPP and also the cash lineups. All right, so give me an example. Going to the lineup optimizer, you're able to make changes in your GPP or cash line. So that's something we're looking into. Right now, they got the GPP ready to roll, and you can also switch to cash. So this is a great tool. Like I stated, we're constantly giving you more tools, everything to do to definitely cash and it's a great tool to use so definitely check it out y'all so love y'all y'all collect that bag for week 16 i also give you my final look when any injuries or anything pop up i'll definitely give you my final look for week 16 as well i love y'all man it's mel dfs y'all stay blessed and i'll see y'all in the next video